Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll do my makeup using my current beauty favorites. Um, Na-miss ko lang talaga umupo dito, magkape-kape, and then kausapin kayo, chill lang, and then gagawin yung makeup ko. Gusto kong gawin yung peachy, glowy makeup. You know, I have dry skin, so I love glowy makeup. Ginawa ko na yung kilay ko off-camera kasi alam ko sa wang sawa na kayo sa brow pencil na to. Ito lang talaga, forever favorite na to kasi hindi na ako bumibili ng mahal na brow pencil kasi this one works for me. This is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. Um, bumili lang ako ng ibang color. This is taupe na. Um, yung color ko before, I forgot. Neutral brown yata yun. Basta the darker color for my dark hair. E light na yung hair ko, kaya nag-change ako ng color. Siguro, I'm gonna get a brunette also para siguro mag-mix ako ng taupe and brunette. Pero yes, ito talaga yung number one favorite ko na brow pencil lately. And yung boy brow ko, best. Hindi ko na maka-compare yung AOA yung boy brow kasi natapon ni Dave yung boy brow ko. Nilagay ko dun sa box niya. Akala ni Dave walang laman. Tinapon niya sa basura. Yes, bago na po yung hair ko. Pero wag kayong matakot kasi hindi po talaga ganito ka-light in person. Medyo light lang siya ng dahil sa mga ilaw ko. And to those of you who are asking pala kung ano to yung style niya, this is called color melt or ombre color melt. Ganun. Kasi pa-dark siya dito. Tapos palight ng palight. Yung color naman ng hair ko, beige neutral or beigey neutral, kasi hindi ako makadecide kung warm ba ako or ash tone. Pero ang alam ko, yung ashy talaga na hair, hindi siya bagay sa skin color ko. Kasi dapat pag-isipan din talaga yung color ng hair niyo eh. Kasi hindi lahat babagay sa atin or sa skin color natin. So sabi ni Kara yung stylist ko, kung nalilito ka between warm and ash tone, I'll meet you in the middle. So eto siya. Beige neutral. Eto na naman ako ang haba-haba na naman ng intro ko. I'm gonna zoom you in now so we can start already. Super excited ako ng share to sa inyo. This is from Biore. It's their watery essence. Eto yung sunscreen nila with SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus. Tapos merong aqua rich jan. This feels really lightweight on the skin. It doesn't feel greasy. It absorbs really fast. Tapos maganda siya under makeup. In fairness, I'm gonna give you a swatch. Ganyan siya. I'm not sure if they have other variants. It check niyo lang. For sure, meron to sa Watsons. Eto naman guys na bili ko siya sa Amazon. Yung scent niya, hindi katulad ng ibang sunscreen. Tapos, it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. As in, para ka lang talaga naglagay ng super manipis na moisturizer sa si skin. For my base naman, dalawa yung super favorite ko. Meron akong cushion na favorite. This one is from Misha. This is their gold cushion. And yung shade ko, number 23. Lahat ng cushion, number 23 talaga ako. Tapos, meron na tong SPF 50+, plus, PA++++. Plus, 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 plus. This has a dewy finish. So, recommend ko lang itong Misha na to. If you have dry, normal, and maybe combo skin, make sure to just powder your face para hindi ka mag-oil up ng bonggang-bongga. Maganda itong gold cushion na to, in fairness. I have been enjoying this so so much and for foundation naman this one is a rediscovery sa dami dami kong makeup na tinatry especially yung foundation nga nakalimutan ko to this is from Kogan Do this one's expensive yeah pero meron namang maliit na to sa Sephora if you really wanna try it yung maliit muna yung bilhin nyo this is again the Kogan Do Aqua Foundation and yung shade ko 213 Yes. Every time I wear this foundation, I get a lot of compliments talaga na, Oh, I like your makeup today. Your makeup looks flawless. And I think it's really because of this foundation. This is not gonna give you full coverage. And again, sasabihin ko ulit, pag wala ka namang blemishes, of course, full coverage to tingnan sa inyo. But if you have a lot of blemishes, kailangan nyo pa mag spot conceal. Kasi para sa akin, this foundation will only give you light, buildable to medium or... Pwede siyang maging high-medium coverage. But for me, gustong-gusto ko yung ganun na coverage lang. Now, to apply this foundation, I'm going to use my favorite dual-ended brush at the moment. This one is from IT Cosmetics, number 7. Yeah, this one is a concealer brush, and ito naman, all-over face brush. Merong time, guys, ha, na ito lang yung ginamit ko sa buong makeup ko. Like, I use this for my foundation, tapos powder, tapos blush, as in lahat na. Sobrang ganda ng brush na to talaga. If you can get your hands on this, get it. Kasi ito maganda din, eh. I use this for my um, corrector and concealer, kaya medyo peachy siya. Kasi, yes, corrector and concealer. Sobrang ganda ng brush na to. And bigay lang to sa akin ni Nice. So, Nice, thank you so much. Nai-enjoy ko talaga itong brush na to. So, ang dami ko ng sat-sat. Ang dami ko ng chismis. Oh my gosh. Okay. 
ganyan yung finish ng foundation na to pag hindi pa naka-powder. For concealer, dalawa yung super favorite ko lately. Ito si L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear More Than Concealer. And yung shade na ginagamit ko ngayon, Vanilla. Kasi hindi siya ganun kaputi sa akin. And gusto ko yung hindi ganun ka-highlighted yung under eyes ko lately. I don't know why, pero mas gusto ko yung look na yun sa akin. So again, yung shade na ginagamit ko, Vanilla. Super love this concealer, but I'm not gonna use this today. Kasi alam ko, sawang-sawa na kayo sa kagagamit ko sa concealer na to. Ito na lang yung gagamitin ko. This is the YSL Touche Clat High Cover Radiant Concealer. Hindi naman ganun ka-radiant yung finish niya, pero hindi siya matte. So, if you have dry under eyes, magugustuhan nyo talaga to. And, totoo yung high cover. Ang nakaganda nito, guys, kasi ito, di ba, full coverage siya. Pero, thicker yung consistency niya. Ito naman, full coverage siya. Pero, kailangan mo pa rin i-layer, ha? Nag-full coverage siya. Pero, manipis siya. And, ang gaan-gaan talaga ng concealer na to, in fairness. Ah! Oh my gosh, tumulo siya. This concealer is really, really nice. Wala pa akong na-encounter na ganito na concealer na parang hindi siya concealer or parang hindi ako nag-concealer. Kasi yung typical concealers, guys, di ba, naka-foundation ka na. Pag nag-concealer ka, makikita talaga ng mga tao na yes, nag-concealer ka na best. Pero ito, parang wala kang concealer, pero na-conceal mo na yung under eyes mo. Tingnan nyo, guys, parang wala akong nilagay na concealer kasi nga, manipis lang siya. Pero maganda yung coverage. Every time I wear this concealer, tingnan nyo, hindi siya nagsisink in sa lines ko. Tapos parang wala namang magkikrease eh, kasi parang wala ka namang concealer na suot, yung ganun. Pero meron kasi akong bagong favorite. And this is so cheap but so good. This is the AOA Studio Perfect Setting Powder. Ito yung soft light nila, and super mura nito. And napansin ko guys, mas maganda siya sa under eyes. Tapos hindi ko siya ginagamita ng damp sponge. Sometimes I use my damp sponge sa iba ko mga loose powder here. Pero pag ito, parang namun umuumo siya pag damp sponge. So, ang ginagamit ko yung brush na ito or any brush that you have there. And, ito yung ginagamit ko pang set ng under eyes. Kasi, medyo radiant to na powder eh. Na-amaze ako sa powder na to kasi sobrang mura lang. And, I heard na 100 pesos or 105 pesos lang to sa Philippines. Dito sa States, 1 dollar lang siya. Now for my powder, ito yung gagamitin ko. Kasi ever since I got this, ito na talaga yung ginagamit ko. I know, bago lang. Pero favorite ko na kasi talaga eh. This is the Glossier Powder. Yung shade na binili ko, G8 to G10. Ito yata yung light to medium. Ito yung finish ng powder. It doesn't look matte. So gustong gusto ko talaga siya kasi ayoko ng matte na powder. This powder is really good. It has a super light coverage kasi meron siyang tint ng konti. Pero hindi talaga like medium or full. Like pwede na siyang maging powder foundation. Hindi ganun. As in, super light lang talaga. And, I don't know if you guys can tell, pero ang flawless dito, parang nawala yung pores ko. Hindi ko na sana gagawin yung eye makeup ko kasi wala naman akong favorite palette lately. Pero gusto kong gumawa kasi ng monochromatic look as in peachy lahat. Peachy makeup or peachy glowy makeup. I know my skin is not that glowy yet. Pero wait, there's more. <laughs> Mag-glow pa yan ang bongga mamaya. Pero yes, gagawin ko muna yung eye makeup ko. And ito yung parang peachy na makeup, makeup, na eye, na eye, huh? ano yun, na palette. <laughs> this one is from Colourpop. Yung Cute AF na palette nila, or Cute AF ba, or Yes Please. Yes Please yata yung pangalan nito eh. Matagal na kasi to. Nag-wing liner pala ako and good news, mas madali pala talaga mag-wing liner pag powder yung gagamitin natin. So, ito yung ginamit ko lang yung dark brown dito sa palette na to. Tapos, ito yung ginamit ko 317 wing liner from Zoeva. Hindi kailangan Zoeva mga bes ha. Um, hanap lang kayo ng mga ganito, yung pang wing liner na manipis. Tapos, yan. As in, super easy ng ilagay bes. As in, mas easy pa siya for me ha. Kasi kung magkamali ka, pwede mo lang i-ganun eh. Tapos mag-blend na siya. Naglagay na rin ako ng falsies off camera. And then for my inner corner, I'm feeling adventurous today. So, ito nila yung gagamitin ko. Yung yellow na shade. Summer makeup ba ka mo? You tell me you're in love with me. 
Now for bronzer, ito yung gagamitin ko kasi ito yung favorite ko lately. This is from e.l.f. Ito yung primer infused bronzer nila. And this is in the shade Forever Sun Kiss. And napansin ko guys, kasi primer infused siya, medyo matagal siya matanggal sa cheeks. Or maybe it's just me. Let me know in the comment section below kung nagamit nyo nito or meron kayo nito. And kung ano yung na-observe nyo. Pero in fairness, nagustuhan ko talaga. O, oh, ba Instant tango sa ilong. Bam! The other day, Dave asked me kung meron daw akong gustong iparito kay sa katawan ko ano daw. Sabi ko, wag na lang ilong kasi pwede naman siya nakokontour eh. Boobs na lang. For my blush naman, I have been loving these two so much. Ito yung Cloud Bates from Glossier. Um, I'm planning to make another order pero madami pa kasi akong nilagay sa card ko sa Sephora. Sabi ko, unahin ko muna yung Sephora bago yung Glossier. Mga best ha! Kasi nga, gusto kong bilhin yung ibang colors nito. Um, ito yung again, Glossier Cloud Bates. Yung shade na kinuha ko, si Dusk and si Haze. Si Dusk, guys, if you're NC35 or morena ka na, hindi ito babagay sa'yo. Um, Marirecommend ko lang to if medium skin tone, like NC25, katulad ko NC25 ako sa MAC, or NC20 or Super Putika, maganda si Dusk. Um, ang ginagamit ko si Dusk and Haze, minimix ko yung dalawa. I'm not gonna use them today, kasi nga parang hindi sila bagay din sa eye makeup natin, kasi dapat peach lahat. So, ito na lang, kasi I've been enjoying this blush too. Rediscovery to, pero super mura na ito mga best. As in, super duper mura talaga. This is from Caroline. Ito yung oil control blush on nila. This is in the shade Fresh Tomato or Fresh Tomato. Potato, potato. Basta. Yan. Ang ganda nito, especially ngayon na summer and gusto mo ng peachy or bright peach na cheeks. As in, maganda talaga si Fresh. Fresh? <laughs> what the heck? Super, super nice. Alam ko na feature ko na to before, pero favorite ko pa rin siya hanggang ngayon. And I use them as a blush topper kasi hindi matte itong mga blushes na to. This is from Alamar Cosmetics. And ito yung trio nila na blushes. Ganyan siya. So, minimix ko lang yung tatlo whenever I use it. But today, of course, peachy eh. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko. Ito or ito? Ito. Nag-a-add siya ng sheen sa skin, which I like kasi I love glowy cheeks. I could not put this highlighter down. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Bloom Time. And <clears throat> bagay na bagay to sa look natin ngayon kasi peachy gold itong highlighter na to. Super beautiful guys, as in super beautiful. Before yung super favorite ko, ang dami ko na super na sinabi. Before yung favorite ko talaga from Wet n Wild, yung Precious Petals. Pero ever since I got the... I discovered this. Hindi na ako gumagamit ng iba. Ito lang talaga. Kasi ang ganda ng highlighter na to, guys. Wait and see. Bam! Thank you, Tony. Kasi si Tony yung nag-recommend sa akin sa product na to. And now, I'll recommend this to you. Trust me, it's good. Wala akong favorite na lip product or lipstick talaga. Kasi kahit ano lang yung ginagamit ko dito, pag mag-ombre ako ng lip, or kung meron ako makita ng peach, that's red, yun, ino-ombre ko siya. Pero yung gloss, as in, hindi ko alam kung bakit nagugustuhan ko na yung gloss lately. Ito yung favorite ko from Glossier. I like the red one too, but I find myself reaching for this color, yung clear one. Kasi nag-ombre ako, eh, nag-lipstick talaga ako, tapos nilalagay ko to. Clear lang siya eh. Yung red kasi meron siyang tint ng konti. Pero yun, yeah. Um, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko para monochromatic talaga. Orange siya. So, what I'm gonna do is parang peachy na light lang. Tapos, orange siya sa gitna. Tingnan natin kung maging okay ba siya. This is from Colourpop. Um, yung shade niya, Appy. Ito din guys from Colourpop. This is in the shade... Uh, how to pronounce... Rivi. Revi. 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 <laughs> Revi. 
ever since I discovered this setting spray, ito na talaga yung ginagamit ko. I even like this better than the Farsali one. Although I still use the Farsali, ginagamit ko talaga siya kasi nga binili ko to eh, mahal siya. But I only use this before a makeup. Pero guys, hindi talaga ako na-impress nito. Ito talaga, promise. Diba sobrang love na love ko si Tasha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist? Parang it's the closest dupe. So if you have dry and normal skin, try this one out guys. Try this one out. Promise you're gonna love this setting spray so so much. It's not gonna prolong the life of your makeup but it's really gonna give you that dewy glow sa skin na walang glitters. I remembered before yung pinaka-hate ko na setting spray na try ko ever in my life. Yung Cover FX na dewy or luminous skin mist yata yun. Um, even if I shake the bottle as in siguro mag-shake ako na 5 minutes pag lagay ko sa mukha meron, pala, meron pa rin maliliit na glitter that's why I, hindi ko talaga nagustuhan yun. So, eto guys, um, sobrang ganda. As in, sobrang ganda talaga. Again, ganito yung bottle niya. Um, L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Do Mist. Tingnan niyo yung mangyayari sa skin ko ngayon. So, ganyan siya. Glowy na siya na wala pang setting spray. Wait and see. Char. And yung mist niya, super fine. Thank you so much, Lorian. I love you so much. I actually really, really like how my makeup turned out today because it's super glossy, glowy, dewy, summery, and lahat ng re. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope na enjoy nyo to kasi ako na enjoy talaga. Na enjoy ko talagang gawin to para sa inyo. Yun lang mga bells. Maraming salamat sa panunood. Please not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye.